What's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. I hope you're all doing really well on this Monday morning. Now, just to let you know, on Friday night last week, I was on TalkSport 2 on Hugh Wizzy's mission to Moscow. What a fantastic opportunity that was for me to go on radio. It just goes to show what my YouTube channel has done for me over the last 10 months. It's been absolutely fantastic. So on Friday night, we'll discuss some topics like Mike Ashley, Amanda Staveley, is a deal on, is it off? Will Rafa Benitez get any money in January? Will he walk away in January? Will he walk away in the summer? And then we're discussing, you know, his potential future of him and Mike Ashley, you know, the relationship between them both and, you know, the fans, the the fans are not being connected with the club anymore and just things like that. And we're discussing Manchester City as well over the course of the week and my predictions. It's obviously already finished. It's finished free one to Manchester City. But without any further ado, uh, let's go listen to it. Don't forget to like that video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Someone that's been there before as well. Is every single Newcastle fan up and down the country who's watching their club being torn, torn apart at the seams, ripped apart at the heart, and left to rot in the corner? I mean, Mike Ashley has got a lot to answer for. And here to join us on the line to talk more about the state of his club and the direction it's going in is James Sharkey, Newcastle fan and founder of 100% NUFC YouTube channel. How are you doing, James? James, you there, mate? I mean, I realise Newcastle's a long way away. <laughs> but uh, it does seem like James isn't there. The uh, connection, the Geordie connection, not strong. And to be honest, not a lot is really strong in Newcastle right now as far as football goes. It's taken a long time for them to get this takeover deal done. He's still not complete. He's saying he might want to wait and see if he can uh, recoup the new TV deal. I mean, is he having a laugh? He's not made any signings. He's literally left Rafa to rot. You've got a world-class manager there who could be at the likes of Real Madrid himself. Probably should be in the running for Zidane's job. James, mate, are you there? Hi there. You OK, Vizzy? Hello, mate. Yep. Uh, nice to speak to you. Talk to me. You must be in a great deal of pain right now as a Newcastle fan. Yeah, I mean, it's like a comedy circus, really, at Newcastle. You know, you don't know what you're going to get with Mike Ashley, you know, he comes out with all these different stories that, you know, he wants to sell the club and then he wants to keep the club and he's kind of winding the bands up, if you like, because since he's been here in the 10 years, I don't think he's done a great deal, you know, he's put the fans down, you know, we've had two relegations and it's, for me, it's so, so sad at the moment to be a Newcastle fan, you know, 52,000 fans, you know, in that ground week in, week out, you know, the away supporters, you know, the season have been unbelievable and it, it just pains us to, to be a Newcastle fan at the moment. Yeah, you're right. So, how do we change this? Because he's done this before. You know, I felt like we were close to actually having the club sold for a while, uh, a couple of years back. However, to hear that he's trying to wait for the TV money, that's got to worry you because surely it was important, integral to what Rafa's trying to do and Premier League survival in general, that you did some business in January. There's only two weeks left. Yeah, no, that's right, because, you know, we've just come back to the Premier League. You know, Rafa was that inspiration of coming back to the Premier League. You know, like you say, Rafa Benitez, he's been there and done it. You know, he's been, you know, he's won some great things. And Rafa Benitez, he's come to Newcastle for a challenge. You know, he's seen the size of the club. He's seen the potential in the club. And coming back to the Premier League was huge. And it was important that in the summer we're invested anyway. But then you think, OK, no problem. You know, we'll see it, we'll see it until January. And it was just massive that this takeover went through. You know, the promise was... Amanda Stavey would buy the club by Christmas and that it would all be rubber stamped and then by the time the January window comes around we'd have some money to spend but obviously it's gone dead you know Amanda Stavey she's given what £250 million Mike Ashley wants £300 million and you know there's been quotes in the last couple of days that apparently you know that the deal is there and Mike Ashley whatever was said wasn't true so what, the fans are left in limbo at the moment and you know, I was prepared to wait until the summer to, to think, OK, we'll, we might be able to, you know, allow her to buy the club and then we might be able to go forward from there. But it's, it's, it's painful, really, because are we going to be guaranteed any money to strengthen in the uh, January? Well, that remains to be seen. Will you be able to keep Rafa Benitez if he doesn't invest? Will you be able to keep Rafa if you get relegated again? I'm sure. No chance. Absolutely no chance. And I'm, no, yeah, you know... I just feel like I would be fuming. I'm fuming as an Arsenal fan half the time anyway. But I, I, it's nothing 
in comparison to have seen the rise and fall. Newcastle were the Manchester City of their day when Kevin Keegan was around. Do you agree with that, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the 90s, you know, Newcastle were a force. You know, we were always, you know, there, there, about in the table. You know, we had a couple of FA Cup files. OK, we got beat off Manchester United. You know, they're brilliant. You know, Alex Ferguson, you know, the Kevin Keegan era. We really want to kick on because you look at the attendance, it's 52,000 there. You know, even in the Championship last season, for example, we were playing Burton Albion in the Championship on a cold, I think it was a Tuesday night, and 52,000 fans against Burton Albion. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's painful, but you say, can we keep Rafa Benitez? If we get relegated, that's a definite no. You, you know, Rafa Benitez can do so much better because we don't really have that ambition. But if we stay up, it's, it remains to be seen. You know, I, I was saying this week that if Rafa Benitez doesn't get the funds that he gets for this, you know, this window, then I think he's going to end up leaving because... He's getting frustrated. He's asked for money in the summer. He didn't get it. He's asked for it in January. He's even said he, he wanted players in by the 20th of January. That's very close and we haven't received no, nothing, really. And it's, it's very frustrating. OK, uh, big game. <laughs> Saturday. Tomorrow at 5.30, Manchester City. Um, talk to me. Your predictions, have you got any hope here? Or are you thinking that it could be painful? You're only three points off the drop zone as well. You really do need something from every game possible. But this... It seems a little bit unlikely, right? No, it's very unlikely, but I have got a little bit of optimism that if we stay in the game like we did at St James's, it wasn't very good to watch. You know, Man City had all the ball, all the possessions as you like with their quality players, David Silva, Aguero, they were causing problems. Man City have got a world-class team there, and they only scored one goal, and we could have nicked it at the end, you know, late on. Yeah. Well, we didn't really do anything in the game, but I think if we stay in the game and we're causing problems, that you just never know, but... I mean, I really, really don't know. I mean, if Newcastle stay in the game, we could possibly get a draw. But if we play anything like we did against Swansea in other games, it could be hiding. James, absolute pleasure to talk to you, mate. I hope you'll come on the show again in more positive times. That's James Sharkey, Newcastle fan and founder of 100% NUFC YouTube channel.